Hello Fit Family, how are you doing? It's Angel from Angel Fit and Healthy and I am here to talk to you about your fitness goals and your habits that you need to create in order to achieve the desired goals that you want to see. How does that sound? I mean, we're going into a new year. Everybody is on the fit tip this time of year and that's okay. I love it. It's good for me. I love to talk health and fitness and I just want to give you the tools that you need in order to achieve the goals that you desire. So let's talk about those habits that you need to create in order to achieve your goals. So coming from a personal trainer and somebody that has achieved a weight loss of her own. Yes, that's right. I lost over 80 pounds myself and that has been one of the most tremendous, most dedicated things that I had to accomplish, had to do and had to stick to in my life. So everybody will always ask me, those that know and those that come to know about what I've done, they'll always ask me, well, how did you do it? And let me just say, it's not really just a one thing that I did. It was multiple things that I adapted and changed in my life in order to achieve the goal that I wanted to see in my life. So I have put together 10 steps, 10 steps. These 10 steps, they will transform you from the inside out. One thing that I stress on with clients is working from the inside out. It's fine and dandy to want to, the outside appearance to look great, but if inside of you is not doing well, then the outside will always struggle and it would only be maintained for a certain amount of time. So I'm talking full transformation for a lifetime and that requires you to work from the inside out. So these 10 steps that I'm going to give you are steps that are for lifestyle change that will change you from the inside out. So I hope that you have your pen and your paper and you're writing this down because we are about to get started. So here's your 10 steps. Number one, be clear of why you want to lose weight. Be clear of why you want to gain muscle. Be clear of why you want to change your life. If you're not clear, then you will stumble. You got to be clear. Your vision has to be clear. You got to know what you're working towards. If you're not sure, then it's easy for you to ad adapt to this, adapt to that. You know, you have to stand for something. And your why is what you stand on. Be clear. Number two, be clear that you deserve it. Do you deserve it? If you're not sure that you deserve to achieve your goal, if you don't feel you deserve to look and feel good, then guess what? Whatever you feel you deserve is what you get. So you got to be clear that you deserve to look good. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to look and feel your best at all times. Be clear that you deserve it. Number three, continually visualize yourself in the way that you want to see yourself. It's law of attraction, as they say. It is thinking things into existence. It's pulling in the future into now. You have to see yourself in the way that you want to see yourself. If you're visualizing yourself as something that is unworthy, always visualizing yourself in the way that you're physically seeing yourself right now, it's going to be hard. So you have to have that picture and that image in your mind of what your end result is gonna look like. So number three, visualize yourself in the way that you want to see yourself and continually do it. Number four, if it serves you no purpose, don't do it. Now this can go for a lot of things. If your friends are not serving you any purpose, time to change it. If that meal that you're looking at is not gonna serve you any purpose, don't eat it. If you're gonna go somewhere that's gonna take you off your track of your purpose, don't do it. You have to know your purpose. And if anything is coming your way that is going to take you off track of your purpose, do not do it. 
it is something that you will regret later on so let's not regret anything anymore let's just stand firm in what we want to do stand firm in the purpose that you have and make choices say no to things that will derail you things that will set you off track number five now this one i want you to sit down and i want you to really take a deep breath and hear me out not everyone cares about your weight loss and not everyone cares to work out with you or eat properly with you and that's something that you really need to digest and know and be firm about know that this journey is your journey it's not everybody else's journey it's awesome if there's somebody that's there that will sit with you and go through things and work out with you and do all the things that you want to do exactly how you want to do it but realistically speaking your goals the things that you need to accomplish every day to see the desired results that you want are just yours so if you're looking for somebody to be you're holding your hand and do everything that you want them to do with you you're gonna be disappointed so know this from now your goals are your goals and not everybody has the same dreams as you so learn to stand on your own and stay consistent even when there's nobody else cheering you on or accompanying you be strong number six prepare everything that you need for your day anything that you need to eat prepare your workouts schedule yourself prepare for your day failing to prepare is planning to fail plain and simple one thing that i've noticed throughout my journey is if i do not plan things properly it sets me back it sets you back it allows excuses and it also allows you to now feel like you can deviate off of your plan so always be prepared prepare your meals prepare your workout prepare when you're going to be working out prepare even your clothes that you're going to put on for the next day always be prepared because when you have to scramble to get things put together it is very demotivating and you also lose traction in your progress because you're always scrambling and it, it feels like you're not getting anywhere so once you're on top of things you're ready to go there's no excuses and you can just grab what you need and just go no excuses just prepare prepare your stuff prepare I feel good when I'm prepared. I'm tell you, when I'm prepared, nobody can talk to me, okay? I'm prepared. Number seven. Now this one is for those of us that are stubborn and do not like to follow instructions. My number seven is find someone who has done it and they have done it well and learn from them and follow them. There are so many great people out there that I'm sure are even around you or in your local gym or wherever it is that you work out or you shop for your groceries. There's so many people that you see on a regular basis that are doing things and they're doing things well. So we're socially connected. There are so many people out there. Why reinvent the wheel? Why be out there struggling and searching for answers when you can simply ask somebody that is around you? Just don't be afraid to approach people that are doing things and doing it well. I'm sure they've done the same thing. Nobody has built their own success on their own. Everybody has a mentor. So it's important that you try to find someone out there that is doing something great, doing the thing that you want, and you connecting to them and learning from them. It'll save you a lot of time. It'll save you a lot of headache. And it will help you to relate to somebody that is doing that same thing that you are trying to accomplish at this point. So find someone out there, connect with them, and let them be a support to you. Let them be a mentor to you so that you can do more, so that you can learn more. Number eight, stay consistent. You have to be consistent. I know one week of working out and eating well is not going to show you the results that you really, really want to see. You might feel better, but you're not going to see 
everything that you want to see. But don't be frustrated with that. Stay consistent. In your consistency, small changes are happening and you're developing habits for a lifetime. Your consistency will pay off. Consistency in anything you will do will pay off in the long run. So stay consistent. Don't, don't back down. Don't get frustrated. Don't give up. Stay consistent. It will happen. Just like with me, I stayed consistent. There was nothing that stopped me from getting up and doing what I had to do. Even when I, I physically wasn't seeing the results yet, my consistency paid off in the end. And with anybody else that I've spoken to or trained and I've seen transformation, it was their consistency even in the hard times that got them through to see the results that they want to see, to transform into what they want to transform into. So stay consistent. Number nine, unplug and rest. We are way too consumed with our goals. We're way too consumed with being busy. We're way too consumed with ourselves and our accomplishments and our friends and everything that we want to do in this crazy world. We're way too consumed. And even when we are not physically moving, our brains are going. We're scrolling, we're talking, we're texting, we're watching. Unplug and rest. One of the greatest things you can do for your body is to unplug and rest. Pick a specific time, whether it be once a week or every two weeks, to rest. Your body needs it. Everything that you're trying to do to change and to accomplish great things, it's great, but your body needs a refuel. It needs rejuvenation. It needs rest. And you need to just be able to soak everything in and just, just mellow out. Just, just relax. Take the time for your body to just do what it does on its own without any of your input or any of your efforts. Just relax. Rest. Unplug and be rejuvenated to do more. It's not about how much you can do. It's not about how much you can get done. It's about how well you can do it. And doing things well requires you to rest. Unplug from all the noise and rest. And number 10, you have to be willing to drop the old habits to create the new habits. Some of us wanna do some amazing things. Some of us have some awesome dreams that are achievable. Some of us have some great destinies, amazing purposes in this life. Willing to let go of some of those old things that serve you no purpose and start to adopt the new things that will take you to where you wanna go. True transformation requires you to change the way you think, the way you speak, the way you act. You have to be willing to revamp everything that has been serving you no purpose and start to develop the new ways, the new actions, the new ways of thinking, the new ways of speaking to achieve the thing that you want to see. So drop the old, develop the new. That's number 10. Honestly, for Tamily, there's so much more that I can say that you could do, change, adapt, implement. But these 10 steps are just steps that will really have you starting to think success, starting to think transformation, and starting to really develop a lifestyle that is. I absolutely will be doing more of these videos for giving tips on how to achieve your goals. I know the new year is coming up and I cannot wait to see the transformation in you all. Please like, share, and comment below if you have any questions or concerns, if there's anything that stood out to you, or if there's anything that you want me to speak about in my next health and fitness tip. Just comment below and let me know what it is that I can help you with because that's what I'm here for and I want you to be the best you. So until next time, Fit Family, I thank you for tuning in. Again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please be a part of my Fit Family. I want you to be a part of my Fit Family. 
Thank you for watching Fit Family. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share for more upcoming episodes on Angel Fit and Healthy.